Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing good and well. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at everything I purchased in the months of September and October. I So I'm doing a little bit of catch up here. So I decided to include my moon cat order back here that I purchased at the beginning of October. So basically it's close enough to include because I don't really consider it my Black Friday purchase just because it was so early in the month of November, but this doesn't really matter but anyhow i'm going to be including that order these polishes came in the box of 30 polishes that included my ppu rewind so that's why it's looking large and in charge here but i'm going to try to get through these as quickly as possible so let's just get into this video so i got five from september's ppu and the first one is sweet and sour lacquers the saw is family the way i tried to dupe this and failed yeah, I just decided to buy it. <laughs> this is the one of the ones that I kind of had on my shopping list, but I see how unique this one is with those flakies. Look at that huge one there. And also with those black flecks in there, that is a trend in the nail polish world that I'm loving even more than reflective glitters. It deserves all the hype. So I didn't get a chance to wear this one, but I'm thinking it's pretty festive for December as well, so I do think I'm going to get it on my nails <laughs> before the month ends, or at least try to. So that is it in two coats on my swatch stick. Um, the I think the flakies kind of have to be um, maybe dug out a bit just because they are sitting on one side of the bottle more, so I may have to shake it, but this is really pretty. I think it's a gorgeous halloween color actually that blood red base is just enticing me a lot so that was sweet and sour lacquers the saws family so i absolutely had to get monarch lacquers eerie embers of salem i do have two polishes similar to this which i'm sure you guys are familiar with which is fair maiden's mind freak and polish today's jack-o-lantern still have to do a comparison of those two on a swatch wheel but this is really gorgeous um it's no surprise that the maker of this is half um the individual who created mind freaks so you know that inspiration probably <laughs> went um in thinking of this i think maybe i could be wrong i feel like i always reference polishes has different colored embers so this one is true to the name i feel and also those black vex do don't get too lost on the base this builds up pretty sheer so i think to get full opacity you would have to do three coats this is just two but uh, or maybe even sponge it on but it's not with a glitter or anything I think it'd be fine with the brush but if you really want to build it up like it looks in the bottle sponging it on may be helpful too but this is really gorgeous after that we're taking a look at polish for days goblins and ghoulies and I didn't think I needed this one because I have one from painted pretty polish called fairy kisses that is quite similar but in this one the particles are a lot smaller so it is a smoother finish and there is more of that vibrant i want to say indigo base in there this is so pretty and definitely i believe this is actually paul Shade's best-selling ppu to date i remember her saying that in um the fan group on facebook so that's pretty awesome and it builds up just beautifully in those two coats then this was based off the haunted mansion which is a ride that the maker is pretty in love with a lot of her collections are based off of this and this is just really perfect and it's a perfect winter polish i think too after that i got my one and only from alchemy lacquers this is called oddities i thought this was incredibly unique because look at that shimmer in there you guys this is giving me goosebump vibes it's giving me jim carrey in the mask vibes i know i've mentioned that movie before but I just think it's pretty hilarious but this is a gorgeous polish and what i think is so unique about this one is that it has a bit just a bit of subtle black flecks in there that gives it this soft delicateness that is just gorgeous so that is it in two coats on my swatch wheel i don't know if you can see those black flecks in there but they're subtle very subtle and i think that is definitely what drew me in with this polish it is so beautiful and it was based off a really unique museum in philadelphia so 
very interesting and I think it gives perfect Halloween vibes as well. And the very last one I purchased is Vanessa Molina's True History. This was based off the true story of Hansel and Gretel, which I'm not familiar with, but I don't think this really falls into, no, actually I take that back. This definitely falls into a Halloween polish with the green. It's definitely a slime Nickelodeon green base with just a hint of neon but it's a bit dulled which i like <laughs> but this reminds me of a really pretty van gogh painting like in a spring garden or something so you know this is definitely going to go on my spring rack and this builds up beautifully beautifully in three coats so it's looking <laughs> so the nail polish i'm wearing right now is actually blurring it out so i'm just going to show it to you guys like this but this is such a beautiful polish i am really looking forward to wearing this in the springtime those flakies are absolutely breathtaking we're gonna go in a bit of a weird order here so we're gonna start with this back row i purchased two from sweet and sour lacquer in a group buy and this is i want my mtv this was a custom made polish and when i saw those huge black circle glitters i had to have this this is so fun yes it's a bit juvenile but i really like it <laughs> i think it's so cute and reminds me of a really cool abstract painting or uh, just a jawbreaker. White Crellies usually remind me of jawbreakers or something super artistic. Uh, those yellow glitters in there as well. This is so fun. So that is it in one coat. Actually, I take that back. It's not juvenile. It's just perfect. I guess that kind of just comes with like age. You kind of think of what polishes you want to wear. But I think this is really fun and it's great for winter as well too with that white base really fun next i got one uh, based off hillary at over at mediocre manny she swatched this whole collection for sweet and sour lacquer and this one really really drew me in so i'm trying to limit my purchases so i'm really only looking at ones that i really really want and this is called wild strawberry the way this builds up it's just this looks like crushed candy on your nails like you know those candies that came on that stick that look crystallized that's what that whole yeah the rock candy collection duh nikki duh so <laughs> yeah this one is it totally embodies that vibe i cannot believe i just forgot what that collection was based off so i actually was going to get wildfire lacquers uh tea time with barbie but when i saw this one i don't have too many sweet and sour lacquers well I, no i do have a lot of sweet and sour lacquers but not ones that i purchased on my own merit i really really wanted to purchase this one so it is absolutely beautiful and this is gonna look great in the summertime did another group buy for some fancy glosses this is one of three this one is called cuddly has a cactus i have wanted this one for quite some time now this is giving me so many vibes especially fall and halloween for sure but that color combo in there is just so unusual so I want to say it falls into the ugly pretty polish realm but i honestly think it's just pretty oh so gorgeous those uh orangey kind of yellowy pink flakies there actually is a lot of pink in there it's not coming as well up on my camera but such a fun polish uh this actually mooncat came out with one that was called prickly pear in their rodeo collection which is basically a dupe for this but uh yeah i wanted this one for a while from fancy gloss so i did purchase it man i think i chose <laughs> the wrong color wear for this video because everything seems to be blending with it but yeah that one is absolutely gorgeous that orange against that foresty green jelly base so good so that was cuddly as a cactus the next two are thermals and this one i've wanted for even longer than prickly pear this one is called temptress it is a gorgeous thermal ranging from this berry red kind of brick color and it goes to this soft beautiful grayish mauve color the second one i got is a very interesting one called prune yogurt and it is in a the cold state right now so it is a dark dark eggplant kind of blackened base color and oh, when it is in its warm state it goes into this dove kind of off peachy color and it gives such a gothic really interesting ombre effect i absolutely love this one i've decided to swatch my thermals on a wheel instead of a swatch stick just to kind of test them yearly to see if they still work so probably next december i'll do another swatch wheel to see if they're still good to go but that's how i test my thermals if you guys were interested in that at all and that is temptress in two beautiful coats 
oh, fancy glass thermals just does it right. They react so quickly and they're absolutely breathtaking. And that one is prune yogurt. And I really wish I got a chance to wear this in November, but oh, it's just, it's really vampy and perfect for winter. I think so. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to wear it, <laughs> but these two are just breathtaking and yeah, fancy gloss thermals. If you guys haven't tried them, I highly, highly recommend these two, but just them in general. After that, I did another group buy. I was on a group buy roll in <laughs> the month of September and I got four Great Lakes Lacquer. The first one is called Unicorn Poop. <laughs> Great Lakes Lacquer <laughs> does shimmers. They're incredible. Absolutely ethereal. Just gorgeous. This one is in a kind of plummy, no, I don't want to say a plummy, but a mauvey pinkish base with that just effulgent green shimmer. I mean, come on, you guys. This is nail polish perfection. It's so good. That is it in two beautiful coats. I think this is really fun for winter as well. It's giving me spring vibes as well. I think I'm going to have to make another purchase at Great Lakes Lacquer because, man, her shimmers are just, they're my favorite brand for shimmers, I think. Second polish is Should Have Been a Shenanigans, and this one just glows. This shift in there, this multi-chrome finish is just what I'm talking about. I have a lot of polishes like this. Every time I purchase them, they're all different. So, I mean, this color combination is very vast, obviously. It can just, there's so much can be done with it. I'm so impressed every time I get a purple finish like this with a strong multi-chrome finish. That is it in two vampy coats. I actually did think I had a, a dupe for this, but I don't, so I'm happy to say they're different. My comparison video is coming up very soon for you guys, <laughs> but yeah, this is a gorgeous purple. Third one up, I got I Know The Way and another gorgeous dual chrome. I have nothing like this in my collection. I thought I had some dupes, but Great Lakes Lacquer proved me wrong. That's just how unique this brand is. I can't say enough good things. The depth in this polish, I mean, it'll get sh it'll get your nails noticed, absolutely. So that is I Know The Way in two coats. You can see a bit of the green there as well. Oh, just shimmer perfection. And last but not least, I got one of the Sirens of Lake Superior. I believe this is called Anessa or Anissa. This is just another shimmer polish. Oh man, it looks like blue glass. So I think why I'm so enticed with their shimmers is because it looks like that really, really popular chrome powder. And Great Lakes Lacquer does that effortlessly. I feel like we want those chrome polishes <laughs> those powders in nail polish form and i feel like great lakes lacquer gives us that at the low price that they are in my opinion but yeah this is absolutely breathtaking that shimmer matching that base but just being a bit lighter and also has a bit of this sage kind of undertone to it that gives it this ugly pretty vibe but it's definitely not ugly pretty. This is so pretty. It even has a bit of a gray, this like a sage gray. Really nice. I just realized I gushed over that this polish for a while, but man, look at it. It's so gorgeous. I feel like I, I want to get the other two in the trio, but like I said, limiting my purchases, but I did miss out on some that I really wanted, so I could be taking that back real quick. But anyway, this is called uh, Anessa or Anissa. Sliding right into October on this side here, we're starting with October's PPU, which I picked up three of. The first one is Lemming Lacquer's All I Really Want, and I was actually going to pick up Mooncat's uh, House of Hades, but... When I ordered this one, I didn't really think I needed it because they're pretty similar. Um, I think the House of Hades has a bit more purple in it with larger particles, but this one is absolutely stunning. It kind of has that ghastly glow in it, matching the base. How unique is this? I do want to compare it to Island Peas after midnight because they're both deep sapphire blues. I'm hoping that they don't stain, but it looks like this one will, <laughs> but it's absolutely breathtaking. And that is it, looking glassy and vampy as heck. Such a gorgeous polish. And it has this jewel tone aspect to it too, so I, I think this is going to look really gorgeous matte as well. 
second I got is Chloris de Carol's Red Hot Flannel, which I feel like was just an amazing seller for the month. This is the red magnetic of my dreams. I have been looking for a gorgeous red magnetic, so this one really, really fit that bill for me. The swatches, the more swatches I saw, the more I wanted this one, and yeah. I hope you guys picked it up because it's so good. Now I will say the magnetic effect didn't come out as well on my swatch wheel as it does on my swatch stick as it does it um, in the bottle. But mind you, this isn't my strongest magnetic that I have, so I'm not sure why I picked it for this video. My favorite part is definitely those green flakies in there. Just bomb. Okay, now that I'm looking at it on the swatch wheel, it actually is a pretty gorgeous magnetic effect. Yeah, I take everything I said back. I'm sorry, this is a beautiful polish. <laughs> it's so good i think i just want more of that black to come out like i just want it to be like a straight red like magnetic line against a black base so i'm definitely looking for, this is a perfect for december as well so yeah i think i'm gonna have to get this on next so good but that was close to carol's red hot flannel and the very last one i picked up is vanessa molina's fishnet stockings so <laughs> There is a lot of love-hate going on for this one right now because it it definitely doesn't it doesn't appear as it does in the swatch picture, which is okay. I mean, you can just get a polish that matches the base to have more of those flakies come out. But you know what? I still love this. It's unique as heck, and I'm still really happy that I picked it up. Those flakies in there are also giving me mermaid vibes as well, and you guys know how I feel about that. So that is it in about three coats. I mean, I still really love it. I just wish it looked like the swatch pictures, because the swatch pictures, they, they blew my mind. They did. They blew everyone's mind. And this one actually didn't sell out, so I was actually really surprised. But yeah, uh, let me experiment this one experiment with this one and i'll get back to you guys on this but right now i am on the fence so yeah update coming on that one but that was fishnet stockings next i made a purchase at harlow and co i picked up a cleanup brush from kb shimmer this will be the second one out of the three they have and this one is not angled so i wanted to have one of each so yeah i just picked up that one the very first one i picked up is polish for days blue spruce which is one i've wanted for a very long time i like polishes that are green with a hint of blue in them there's something about them that's so captivating and you know i'm gonna say it mermaid-esque <laughs> and this one's perfect for christmas as well it's very gorgeous and i think an added hollow topper would make it even look a bit more festive as well so that is blue spruce Bruce in two coats. You can see a bit of the blue coming out. Really fun, gorgeous, festive polish. Next up, I picked up one I've been eyeing for a while from KB Shimmer. This is called Simply Irresistible. It's a bit of a multi-chrome finish with that metallic foily base along with that scattered hollow in there. Oh, man. <laughs> Very unique, I don't have anything like this in my collection. I'm very, very captivated to this finish. And that is it in two beautiful coats. It's looking a bit New Year's y too. Yeah, it's giving me that champagne kind of vibe. So yeah, ideas for this one. And I did repurchase a thermal. This is Best Buds. This one did actually die on me in the summer because I left it in a really, really, really hot room that got to like 40 degrees, I'm pretty sure. And it died in the green state. So I did buy it again because I do really like KB Shimmer polishes and I knew why that one died was totally my fault. But yeah, this one is really pretty. It's this it's in the cold base right now, so it's in a really kind of dark mauve color and it transitions to a green. And that is it in two two beautiful coats. It's actually a bit of a tri-thermal, but the blue isn't coming out right now. But yeah such a fun springy polish and this time i'm keeping it <laughs> cool calm and collected so that was kb shimmer's best buds next i got three from wildflower lacquer from their dark forest collection this is blessed by nature autumnal winds and dancing in the leaves so blessed by nature i had to get because it's a beautiful ugly pretty polish in that murky swamp base with that gorgeous pink shimmer Autumnal Winds is so interesting. It's in this fiery orange 
base, crimson red base, or orangey base, I should say, with a subtle like micro hollow flakes, so unique. And Dancing in the Winds is one I that I found similar to a bee's knees lacquer that I'm not remembering right now, but yeah, this one is a gorgeous like berry toned wine base with those hollow flakes. That whole collection really spoke to me, but these three were standouts. And like I said, you know, just picking ones that I really love to lower my purchases. Yeah, there is something completely just enthralling about all three of these side by side. It's definitely giving that brooding dark forest vibe that the collection is named after. I think my favorite's got to be Autumnal Winds. It's quite unique. Heard it's a stainer, but... Yeah, glad I know before I use it because that's always helpful. And this is one that I made a trade for in the mail with my friend Liana. I didn't like the Zombie Claw Advent Calendar, so I did switch one with her. And this is a thermal by Crystal Knockout, my one and only now from Crystal Knockout. This is called Gala Gaga, and it is in its raspberry fuchsia base with those gorgeous gold flakies and you guessed it those black glitters in there so it goes from that magenta to kind of a white i can't get it very warm right now but it is a really cute thermal and i am into thermal so i'm glad that we could you know make a trade but yeah that was gala gaga by crystal knockout and finally we are going to get into my moon cat order i purchased the whole well, not the whole, but most of the Mermaid Tales collection. I knew I wanted that collection just based off the theme alone. So I got five of those and the rest we are just gonna get into. The first one I'm taking a look at is called Mer Kitten. And this is reminding me of Cirque Colors Jet Setter, one of my favorite pinks ever. This one is in a bit of a lighter base. I'll show you guys during my comparison video, but it also has those hollow bit of gold flakes in there with that like I said, that ghostly blue shimmer that I am digging. And that is it in two coats. Those hollow gold flakes are really, really coming out. They are not shy at all. This is a really, really great polish for the summertime. Next, I did pick up Catfished, which is just so unique. This is in a bit of a clear base, so this is, could actually be used as a topper because the particles in here are actually pretty shimmer so a base could come through quite nicely on this one but of course i have to show you guys this in two coats and that is blending in with my nail as well but yeah you can see how clear it is and it's absolutely beautiful 100 percent had to get moon jelly not only for that um blue shimmer but also for the flakies in there this is absolutely beautiful and it is very very mermaid like as well that is it in two coats. Really gorgeous. And that shimmer in there is just that ghostly feeling that I just, look at it, I just love. Next, I picked up Hermit Crab. And <laughs> this one is not usually the color family I gravitate towards because corals kind of make my hands look bigger than I would like. But <laughs> the flakies in here make this so interesting. Yeah, it's in this corally pinky base. You can kind of see the pink but more to turn at an angle, but oh, those flakies in there just make this look like encrusted gold on your nails. That is it in two coats. I feel like the pink really, really drew me in with this polish. It's such a great combo. Really love this one. And last but not least, we have Plankton. This is definitely one of my top picks. <laughs> have to wear this soon, and I'm glad that, you know, I can wear a lot of my greens right now, which I have a lot of right here so good month to wear them this is a really saturated green along with those hollow scattered flakes that is it in two beautiful coats and just like mer kitten those gold flakies or hollow flakes are just scattered flakes are just they're not shy not one bit i picked up access denied because this is the perfect perfect holiday green and kind of festive green for Halloween as well. I love how black the base is in this because it just makes that green stand out even more. Yeah, this is one you could definitely get lost in. I'm pretty excited for all these greens. 
I'm going to try my best to wear them all <laughs> before January hits, but we will see. So that was Access Denied. This one is definitely one of my top picks. This is called pa Pomegranate Seeds, and it is in a indigo, mostly blue base. The base is so interesting. I absolutely love colors like this with those jam-packed with those pink and kind of gold flakies, mostly pink, but this is so unique. Oh, that Underworld collection was so, so good, but this one really, really seriously caught my eye. So that is it in two coats, and those pink flakies aren't the least bit shy. They are absolutely beautiful. Next, I got a matte shimmer. This is called Tectonic Shift, and this reminded me of Cleona Cosmetics Rainbows, but except with that green base and that polish from Clona is one of my favorite polishes of the year and yeah I really really wanted a green version of that one and I think this one really really fits that description it is just has gorgeous glossy has it is matte really interesting polish that is it in two coats it does have a top coat on there I do think I am going to wear it matte and then glossy just to see which way I like it better but Right now, I'm liking both a lot. Also purchased Sabretooth because it reminded me of Wildflower Lacquer's Moonstone, but in the matte version. And this one actually has a lot more blue in it. So this is another one that is going to be my comparison video coming up. This looks like a gorgeous winter backdrop. It's breathtaking. There it is in two beautiful coats. Like I said, it does dry matte, and I think it's gorgeous either way, but... This is just, this whole polish is just shimmer. It's so nice, and I think it's perfect for winter as well. Definitely looks like a mountain snow top or something. And the very last polish I purchased is another one that is going into my top 20 polishes of the year. This is called Bread and Butterflies. This one actually wasn't on sale because it is limited edition from the Alice in Wonderland collection. And you guys, how unique and beautiful is this polish. I've already worn this. You're going to see this in my monthly manicures, but this one just sang to me, you guys. It is absolutely breathtaking. Those pink flakies against that golden yellow base. Now, I know a lot of people said this didn't have the strongest magnetic effect, and it's not too bad for me, actually. I do think it actually magnetizes very, very well, and it's just the uniqueness of this is just what sold me. I don't have anything like this in my collection and i think it went really really well with my skin tone so i'm gonna gush over this a lot in my top 20 videos so you will see this again but so beautiful and just i'm so happy that i got this one i was really really eyeing it so that was bread and butterflies and then last but not least i also purchased their speed demon top coat which i heard is absolutely excellent so i am gonna report back to you guys on this one has all these polishes when i finally wear them but yeah i'm excited to see what this one um is all about because i could always use some more fast drying top coats in my collection i lied <laughs> i did get one more polish in a d stash live love polish is what Mooncat used to be. Mooncat is what they rebranded into, and this is called Jam Session, now known as Dragon Scales. And this is actually the first polish I ever wanted from this brand. So I did get an ID stash in a Facebook group, and I'm loving it. I actually have another polish to compare this one to in my comparison video. So you guys will see this again, but that that was live love polishes jam session <laughs> now known as moon cat lacquers dragon scales Whew. all right guys that was a long video thank you so much for watching if you made it to the end i hope you enjoyed this one haul videos are definitely one of my favorites to film and my next one coming up is my black friday haul and to be honest that's probably going to be one of my last hauls for a while because i really really am slowing down my purchases i know i've said that before but i have over a thousand and i told myself when i reach that number i have to start trying my polishes and de-stashing as i go because as much as i <laughs> love all these polishes i know i'm not gonna love all of them i mean i hope i do obviously because i want to keep all of them but i need to get through them to figure out you know which ones i love and which ones i don't anyways thank you so much for watching i'm gonna stop rambling <laughs> uh thanks guys again and i'll see you in my next one take care